you out there, you have one of these qualities, at least one. And I'm trying to make you push it up a little harder. Be aware of it and how you can accentuate it and what makes it seductive so that you can kind of use it to your own effect. the siren, which is only of women. Only women can be sirens. And that's sort of what I consider the icon of seduction is the siren itself, because that's where the concept came from. And that's a woman who has a very powerful sexual energy that any man can feel. It's not overt in that they're not coming on to you, but they just radiate this kind of intense physical energy. And there's an element almost of danger to them. That, and that's sort of what excites the man about the siren, that if I get involved with, and it doesn't, she doesn't have to be beautiful. So the, the greatest siren who ever lived was Cleopatra. And from what we know about Cleopatra, she had a bit of a long nose and a thin face. She wasn't like strikingly beautiful. It was her personality. So it's not about looks, it's about this energy you have and this confidence. And there's almost a sense if I get involved with this woman, she might destroy me. She might ruin my reputation. She might, you know, take me somewhere I don't want to go. But that's what's so exciting about the siren. And then the male equivalent of that is what I call the rake. And the rake is a man who has an intense interest in women. He loves women um, to, a, to an incredible degree. It like obsesses him. But he can never be satisfied with one woman. So he has to find as many different women as possible. And because he so much is interested in women and he understands them so deeply. That kind of interest and excitement and that drama is what makes him so seductive to women, right? Because most men, most men are interested in sex, but they're not really interested in the world of women. They're not really interested in what they're thinking, their psychology, and what will please them. But the rake is so motivated by getting inside the woman's skin that he becomes this incredible sedu seducer. So those are the two top ones. Then there's the dandy. That's the kind of androgynous seducer who mixes male and female characteristics, which can be very powerfully seductive if done well. And some of the greatest seducers in history, like a Marlena Dietrich or Rudolf Valentino or David Bowie, these people have that kind of energy. Then there's the natural, someone who's kind of got a childlike energy. They're just so authentic. They're not faking anything. They're, they've got that kind of innocence about them, and it's devilishly seductive. Then there's, um, as you mentioned, oh, there's the coquette, probably the most dangerous. That's the one I have problems with the most because in my past, most men have had that. You know, the coquette, the woman, or man, because that can go both ways, is someone who blows hot and cold, right? They know how to play hard to get, and they just get that you just get, they get your claws in you, and then and then they withdraw, and you go crazy, and you have to pursue them, and you're going after them. Coquettes are devilishly powerful, you know. It's for a man, they, they could be the worst, and I've had many experiences with that, so I speak from experience. <laughs> then, then there's the star, which as well can be male or female. That's a person who has a kind of a distance, you know. A star is somebody that we project all of our fantasies onto. Why we imagine that they're almost larger than life. And it's a person who knows how to be kind of blank and yet have this sort of Hollywood-like presence about them, a kind of confidence. And they become a screen which we project all of our fantasies on. And we can think of millions of examples in, in, in pop culture, you know. And then there's the charismatic. This isn't so much a sexual seducer because not all the art of seduction is about sex. A lot of it's about social seduction, political seduction, marketing seductions. The charismatic is a man or a woman who's filled with this intense kind of confidence. And the image that I use is that there's almost like a light inside of them. You can't see, but from within it illuminates them and it makes their eyes wide open with an energy and it gives them this kind of animation. And they're, we have to hear everything they say, they're great orators. Right? And they radiate this kind of confidence that sucks us in. We, we feel like when we're close to them, we're getting some of their own confidence. We feed off of it. And so th they, don't have to, they don't have to say anything. We can almost feel it because we humans have a nonverbal side. We're an animal it's at heart. You know, I, I hope that's not a radical thing to say, but we are animals. And we are definitely 
sense the energy of people. And a person who feels so strongly and confident about a, about a cause, for instance, like a Malcolm X or someone like that, or a Martin Luther King, it's so intense, that energy, that it just draws us in and we become followers of them. Now, not everybody, all these types, what I reason I wrote about them is that you out there, you have one of these qualities, at least one, maybe two. If you have three, uh-oh, we're all in trouble. But you have at least one of them, right? And you're going to identify with the coquette, the siren, the rake, whatever. And I'm trying to make you kind of push it up a little harder. Be aware of it and how you can accentuate it in, and what, what makes it seductive so that you can kind of use it to your own effect. And so, you know, we all can't be charismatics. We all can't be Marilyn Monroe or Errol Flynn, who was the greatest rake that ever lived because we count, somebody counted that he probably slept with over 5,000 women. And he died in his early 50s. And if you do the math, it's like astounding. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I mean, he he was a, a beautiful man. He was extremely handsome. Yeah. yeah. So we can't all be like that, right? But you can you can come close to it. There, there's a charismatic side to people that here's and I'm showing you how you can bring out your own natural charisma if you have the ingredients for that, or how you can become more of a natural or more of the wraith that's inside of you. So if you're a man and you're obsessed with women, and now you read my chapter on the rake, you can understand better why women are attracted to you. And now you can kind of accentuate it and even make it better, be more effective.